Meghan Markle has become the focus of many threats made in opposition to her lifestyle, a Metropolitan Police officer has revealed. Former head of counterterrorism Neil Basu stated the threats against the Duchess of Sussex have been disgusting and very real. He stated, If you would see the stuff that has been written and also that you have been receiving online the type of rhetoric, that's online in case you don't recognize what I recognize, you'll sense all kinds of danger all the time. Asked if there has been a true danger to Meghan's lifestyle more than once, he replied. Absolutely. We had groups investigating it. People had been prosecuted for the threats. In his first interview hours before United States most senior officer of color of color, informed Channel 4 News that his perspectives may also have cost him the pinnacle policing job. But there have been many serious credible threats in opposition to Meghan, haven't there? Emanating from the far proper? Newman chimed in. Absolutely, and in case you've seen the stuff that has been written and also that you have been receiving it, the type of rhetoric it is online, in case you do not know what I recognize, you'll sense below danger all the time, he replied. When asked if the Duchess of Sussex's lifestyle had been truly threatened more than once, Basu had a daunting reply. Absolutely. We had groups investigating it. People had been prosecuted for the threats, he stated. Basu became the senior most officer of diversity within the Met Police and stated somewhere else within the Channel 4 interview that he had grown to dislike going for walks at the National Crime Agency due to his outspoken perspectives on variety and inclusion The Guardian reported. The Pinnacle officer's claims correlate with Prince Harry's preceding feedback that he does now no longer feel secure together with his younger circle of relatives within the UK amid ongoing lawsuits for them to acquire police safety even abroad. Harry and Meghan stepped down from their lifestyles as senior running royals in 2020 and relocated with their son, Archie, to California, where their daughter, Lilibet, was born in the closing year and named for Harry's grandmother, the overdue Queen Elizabeth II. In May, a British courtroom docket ruled that Harry has the right to sue the British government after a committee determined Harry and his own circle of relatives could no longer be eligible for police safety all through visits to the UK, despite the fact that the Sussexes funded the protection. Harry's legal professionals stated the prince does no longer feel secure touring his domestic United States of America below the modern-day protection arrangements. Sign in return from lifestyles as senior running royals in 2020 and relocated with their son, Archie, to California, where their daughter, Lilibet, was born in the closing year and named for Harry's grandmother, the overdue Queen Elizabeth II. In May, a British courtroom docket ruled that Harry has the right to sue the British government after a committee determined Harry and his own circle of relatives could no longer be eligible for police safety all through visits to the UK, despite the fact that the Sussexes funded the protection. Harry's legal professionals stated the prince does no longer feel secure touring his domestic United States of America below the modern-day protection arrangements. Markle stated closing year that the net abuse she confronted was particularly difficult, considering that marrying into the royal family's own circle of relatives felt nearly unsurvivable, including that she had been informed that she had become the most trolled person on the net in 2019. An evaluation of Twitter information over the past year located that a majority of abuse focused on Markle on the platform was part of what was regarded as a coordinated attack from a relatively small number of users. Just 83 Twitter users authored approximately 70% of the hateful content material directed at Harry and Meghan, consistent with a document from Bot Sentinel, a Twitter evaluation service. Two British young adults have been passed prison sentences in 2019 on terror charges for making a sequence of neo-Nazi terrorist social media posts, consisting of calling Harry a race traitor, for marrying Meghan, and attempting to assassinate the prince. Earlier this year, a couple of podcast hosts were placed on trial in London for allegedly calling for Prince Harry to be judicially killed for treason over his marriage to Markle and for having a mixed-race child, whom prosecutors stated the guys called an abomination. Thank you for watching till the end, please share with us your thoughts in the comments.